What's up everyone, welcome to Get Cruise Ship Info and more. In today's cruise news update, we'll be discussing 5 key topics. So stay tuned and enjoy the scenery while you get your daily dose of cruise news. Before we jump right into it, please make sure to subscribe to my channel to stay updated with the latest cruise news and more. So let's get started. Coming up at number 1. We've got Fred Austin, which has announced its 2022-2023 program. Fred Austin Cruise Lines has announced its itinerary program for the year 2022 to 2023. This program offers a total of 126 new voyages taking in 82 countries. They also include new regional departures from Belfast and London Tilbury. The program includes closer to home excursions around the British Isles and shorter five-night breaks with departures from eight UK ports, London Tilbury, Belfast, Portsmouth, Southampton, Dover, Liverpool, Newcastle and Edinburgh with a number of ex-UK sailings and fly cruise options for those looking to venture further away. The Fred Austin fleet will also sail into a number of maiden ports in 2022 to 2023 Three, including Hakata and Nagoya in Japan, Croton, Dalipoli and Monopoly in Italy, Lingdal in Norway and Louisbourg in Canada. Guests sailing the program's itineraries will be able to see the Norwegian forts and Canadian fall as well as experience Belgium, France, Denmark and Norway. A major chunk of 2022 will be making the most of the beautiful British Isles with scenic cruising just as rewarding as the wonderful ports of call. For those looking to set sail on a shorter cruise, they are plenty on offer each with the opportunity to experience time ashore with entertainment packed sea days and scenic cruising as well. Moving on to number 2, we have Oceania Cruises which has set a single day booking record. Oceania Cruises announced that the launch of its latest collection of exotic itineraries for the winter of 2022 to 2023 on the 3rd of March resulted in a record with the most individual bookings taken in a single day in the brand's entire history. Oceania had done a preview of the itineraries on 24th February ahead of the sales opening on the 3rd of March. Bob Binder, who is the president and CEO of Oceania Cruises, said in a statement that the tremendous response with the cruise bookings underscores the extraordinary demand for long and exotic cruise vacations. Upscale travelers are eager to explore the world once more and are booking further in advance to ensure their travel plans are fulfilled. What is on offer is a choice of 127 itineraries to choose from ranging from 7 to 77 days, including 272 ports of call and 284 overnight or multi-stay days, 3 springtime immersions into Japan, sailing round trip from Tokyo, 3 forays into the mighty Amazon, popular voyages to Africa, India and Arabian Peninsula, and a 35-day Christmas and New Year circumnavigation of Australia. Australia. Let's move on to number 3. Coming up at number 3, we've got Celestial Cruises, which has announced that it's going to start cruising from the 29th May. Celestial Cruises announced that it will resume operations on May 29th from Paris Athens with its 7-night idyllic agent itinerary. The new recommencement date is in accordance with the recently announced Greek Ministry of Tourism roadmap to opening Greece to tourism and cruising for the 2021 season. The 7-night idyllic agent itinerary starts as low as $729 per person and will call upon Pusadas. Rhodes, Santorini, Lavrion for the Temple of Poseidon, Mykonos, Milos and Crete. The company will recommence operations with the Celestial Crystal so as to utilize her ideal size. As more countries reopen with increasing demand, the company will announce the 2021 deployment of the remaining fleet in due course. Until such time, the Celestial Crystal will utilize two embarkation ports, Piraeus and Lavrion in Athens, providing the ability to offer shorter three and four night idyllic itineraries in addition to the seven night sailing. Moving on to number 4, we have Lindbad Expeditions which is confident about a June restart in Alaska, Iceland and Galapagos. Lindbad Expedition CEO Sven Lindbad said that the company remains optimistic that they will return to operation in June with the focus on Alaska, Galapagos and Iceland. Lindbad said that vaccinations will also help accelerate this demand. Looking ahead, Lindbad Expeditions mentioned that they are already well positioned with strong bookings for the second half of the year and throughout 2022. Sven also mentioned that the company is seeing strong new bookings from both returning guests as well as new audiences. Let's move on to number 5. Holland America has announced that they are going to extend their sailings through 30th of June. It's extending its pause of European cruise operations to include departures through 30th June 2021. The pause will impact cruises departing in May and June in Neostatendam, Volendam and Westerdam along with the collector's voyages associated with those cancelled cruises. Holland America Line is notifying all guests and their travel advisors of their options. Guests currently booked on the cancelled Europe departures will be able to rebook on an equivalent cruise in 2022 
at the 2021 fair with all cash and future cruise credit funds moved to the new booking. Guests will be offered a comparable cruise in 2022 to replace the cancelled voyage and instructions on how to confirm this selection online. Well, that will be all for today folks. If you did enjoy this video, please do share it with your friends and family. And yes, please don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, you take care and stay safe. Ciao for now.